NQ Dry Tropics delivers a wide range of initiatives to tackle erosion in the Burdekin Dry Tropics. This video deals with one of those initiatives, erosion control banks to protect property tracks and fence lines. Erosion on or beside roads and fence lines impacts more than movement around the property. It also affects the water quality and runoff to the Great Barrier Reef. So it's an issue for landholders who need to maintain access across their property. But it's also a community issue because the effectiveness of erosion control on the property directly affects the quality of water on the reef. An effective erosion control bank will reinstate a natural flow path for water. A properly constructed erosion control bank will slow and redirect water previously channeled by roads, fence lines or other linear infrastructure such as pipelines. They're designed to collect water off roads and reinstate the natural flow lines on the low side of the road, slowing the flow and spreading the water across the landscape. There are two components to an erosion control bank. The level sill will also be a borrow pit that acts as a settlement pond from which water will leave slowly to spread out across a contour. And the bank, which diverts flowing water into the level sill for dispersal. To construct an erosion control bank, Start by pegging two points in a level contour about 10 metres apart. This marks the edges of the discharge flow line. Take soil from this area to build a bank across the road upslope. The recommended fall for the bank is 5 centimetres for every 25 metres. Working from top to bottom, the operator should remove wheel ruts and windrows as they construct the new platform and form the bank. The steps to follow when constructing an erosion control bank are 1. Peg the level sill in a safe dispersal area. 2. Take dirt to the upslope side of the track to cross all erosion features, including cattle pads and old tracks. 3. Form and shape the bank. 4. Compact the bank. More than one erosion control bank will be needed to be effective on steeper slopes. As with a single erosion control bank, begin at the top of the slope to construct the first bank. As the banks above influence the flow of water, each succeeding bank on the slope will have to cope with less water, flowing more slowly. Aim to steer the water across the road, avoiding other high-risk areas like cattle pads or other erosion sites. Like any infrastructure, erosion control banks require maintenance. Simply, silt and sediment should be regularly cleaned from the entry into the discharge area. A build-up of sediment risks the bank filling up and re-channeling the water, again causing erosion. When maintaining roads, sweep loose soil to the front and back of the bank. Ensure banks can be easily traversed by each vehicle used on that road or track.